it is time to wrap up this awful, awful, awful season six of Love is Blind, where we started with 30 singles, five engagements, three went wedding dress and tuxedo shopping, two actually made it to the altar, and we only got one couple that actually tied the knot. Let's see who was brave enough to not only show up to the reunion, but let's see what they wore. What's good, everybody? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tammy. This is Tammy Talks. Let's talk Love is Blind Season 6, The Reunion, who showed up and what they wore. So for those of you that don't know, The Reunion is going to air next week, Wednesday, which is March 13th, and it is going to premiere for everybody at the same time, um, 9 p.m. Eastern, which is 8 p.m. Central, which is 6 p.m. Pacific, which I don't know any other time zone conversion. So look up your local listings. I thought it would be kind of cool to go through and take a look at their, um, not only look at their outfits, but let's talk about who showed up and why we think the others didn't, okay? So let's start with Big Goofy. Y'all know how I feel about BG. My homegirl, Big Goofy. So Chelsea shows up. I, so Chelsea's dress, I think, is cool sans the shoulder. The feather fur action, I'm not feeling it. But I want to focus on Chelsea's face. Aside from the fact that it's very Vanessa Lachey coated, that makeup is given Vanessa. Look at the smirk on Chelsea's face. Chelsea is coming to stand on business and show up and show out. Chelsea is ready to remind the people of who she is and why she came, the gaslight queen of all. Chelsea is ready to cut up, and I can't wait to see it, okay? Next up, we have Amy. Amy is Amy. Amy was our unproblematic fave from the season. She didn't bother anybody. She got her man at the end. We fell in love with her family. I like everything. I think the color looks nice on her. Red is definitely Chelsea's color. Um, excuse me, Ch um, Amy's color. I do not like the, the finger loops of the dress, I don't like that. I need to see her wing it out so I can see if it's all connected some way. But at the fingers, I'm not a big fan of it. Gotta be real. Gotta be real. But I'm I'm hoping that Amy and Johnny are still together. I feel like they probably are. So we're not going to get too much drama outside of them unless they, you know, done slipped up and got pregnant and then... We'll see what happens with that. But I expect very smooth sailing for Amy and Johnny. Johnny looks nice. Johnny looks nice. I feel like Johnny has come a long way from here. I don't think this was a bad look at all. Y'all know I don't like blazers and jeans. We talked about this on the first impressions video. Something about it stresses me. Something about it perplexes me, right? But I think Johnny looks nice. Johnny looks like a married man that has come and he is ready to brag on his wife and talk about how amazing this past year of newlywed married marital bliss has been, okay? Next up, we have Brittany. Brittany said, I'm going to put my freak up dress on. I want to show Kenneth what he's missing, okay, whether he wanted it or not. But Brittany said, I'm here to show y'all that I still got it. I foresee Brittany already being in a relationship with somebody. I hope she has healed. I hope she did not internalize any of Kenneth's just bitch assness that he spilled onto her. That man treated her like crap unnecessarily okay because this is a long way from Brittany wearing her little pantsuit okay her little jumpsuit and being like I'm here to be fun and flirty this is a revenge dress she's I'm gonna pop my thigh out on him okay I want Kenneth to see what he was missing I hope Brittany comes and goes off I does I hope Brittany comes and goes off on Kenneth and I'm gonna be here for it because you played in that lady's face we then get to Kenneth, and mm, mm. he doesn't look bad. I like the tugs. He looks a whole lot better than this. 
than this. Remember how I talked about how his suit didn't have the straight line? He, it was, he, I mean, he was a step away from a bacon neck, okay? But he looks more clean cut on here. I think the suit fits nicely, but he looks like he's about to go sell a bean pie or two. It's, all, it's giving scammer. When I look at him, I get scam vibes now. I can't help it. I don't like the way you treated Brittany. It was unnecessary, sir. Completely unnecessary. But we at least he showed up. I'll give him credit for that. Next up, we have Jeremy. What is this? What is this? Jeremy wore that bright, colorful uh, Hawaiian shirt because he wanted to get up underneath Laura. He wanted to get up underneath her nerves. He wanted to work her nerves. This is uh, the look of, I woke up and chose violence. I'm going to go to that reunion and I'm going to lie through my teeth and I'm going to make it seem as if I was the victim and she didn't trust me and she belittled me and she came at me. I want him to atone for the bean dip. Kudos to Jeremy for showing up to get this beating that is probably going to come. I would have preferred you came dressed like this again. And again, I don't like blazers and jeans for a man. So I would have preferred you wore this. This is given, I don't know, Miami Vice. This is given I'm going to maybe an outdoor beach wedding. What are we doing? But okay. Okay. So then we get your, uh, Jess, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I don't think Jess needs to be there. I don't think Jess needed to be there. Yes, Jess was, you know, caught in this love triangle with Jimmy and Big Goofy, but she came to the backyard boogie. She said her piece. I just don't think she's, that it's necessary for her to be there. Why are you there? What are, like, what are we going to talk about with her? But nonetheless, she, I mean... I'm not a fan of the dress. Was I mean, you know, you know, I don't think Jess needed to be there. And I hope they don't spend too much on their segment because it's not even like Jimmy was really trying to get back with her. Like we heard Big Goofy talk about Jess more than anybody else. Speaking of Jimmy, we get here. Bravo, good sir. Bravo. Because y'all remember my horror when I saw his thick ass ankles hanging out in them tight jeans with that tweed blazer that I was not pleased at all with. Okay. Jimmy looked like he has grown up. Jimmy looks like a grown man on here. That suit looks nice. Yeah. The suit looks nice. The shoes look nice. We don't see them thick ass ankles anymore. You know, a beard works wonders for men. He looks great. Kudos to you. Then we get to Clay. I don't know why he can't pull, why he never has his blazer buttoned up or whatever the case, but we have Clay. Clay has shown up. Y'all, we've all heard by now that him and AD, I guess, are back together. She spent a holiday with him. They was, you know, singing and, and shucking and jiving down to the TikTok. His sister um, very swiftly deleted the, the TikTok video, but okay. Nonetheless, this is a clear step up from this disaster. Do y'all remember this? This ill-fitting ass salmon suit with the mustard shirt? He has stepped up. Hell, maybe maybe he is with AD and she told him, hey, you got to get a suit that fits. This is a step up from him. Clay looks nice on here. He looks nice. I would have preferred a different pose, but Clay looks nice on here. And then finally, we have AD. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. I, I like the dress. Nothing wrong with, with that look at all. I feel like it's it's better than this. Okay? Better than this. But AD looks gorgeous. I Y'all know y'all was mad that I didn't like her wedding dress. The slit to me was inappropriate. Doesn't make me a hater. Doesn't mean that I can't pull it off. It just means that I didn't like it. Y'all got to learn what the word hater means. 
Somebody not liking something doesn't make him a hater. Okay, that's all. Notably missing is Laura. So from what we can ascertain right now, Laura did not show up. Um, our Patriot, Sarah Ann, didn't show up. Trevor, I knew Trevor wasn't going to come with all the drama that is surrounding him. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in Laura. Why didn't you come? Yeah, I know we wanted Mackenzie to come because we wanted to find out, Mackenzie, did you really call or text Big Goofy to find out? Let me know what you guys are looking forward to in regards to the reunion. What questions do you hope, well, we know it's already been filmed, but what questions do you hope are asked? What outcomes do you hope to see? Do y'all, even though we saw the video of Clay and AD, do y'all think now, today, in real time, that they are still together? Do you guys think that anybody else spun the block in the pods? Something tells me that Jimmy and Big Goofy might have tried to work it out afterwards. Let's talk about all that down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.